If your car's hood no longer stays up, we're going to show you how to change the struts and make sure it doesn't come crashing down on you. Let's go. Replacing the hood struts on your vehicle is a very simple thing to do. We're doing this on a Lexus here, but you can apply the same method to a Toyota, GMC, or any other type of car that has these hood struts. So mine are not working. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and secure the hood so it doesn't fall on top of my head. And I'm doing my best here with the 2x4. And I just want to make sure that the hood doesn't come crashing down because it's very important that you don't get hit in the head because believe me, it's probably going to hurt. So what's keeping your hood up is the pair of struts that we see here these struts are usually filled with gas and over time from opening and closing the hood they either leak and no longer keep the hood up and because of this you will need to swap them out here we have a better look at the strut but in order to get these out you're going to do what i'm doing here using the slotted screwdriver you're going to go ahead and go underneath that spring and pull it up when you do that it's going to go ahead and release the tension on the inside allowing you to go ahead and remove it from the ball joint so again you want to go ahead and put your slotted screwdriver right into the little groove there and then push that spring up. So go ahead and put that screwdriver right on that little slot, push up that spring. And when you do, that relieves the tension and you can go ahead and pull it away from the ball joint. And here you can see the ball joint and basically that spring just latches onto that ball joint so the strut doesn't fall off. On the bottom of the strut, use the same technique. Go ahead and push up on the spring and then remove it from the ball joint. Very easy to do and doing it yourself is going to save you a lot of money. So again, go ahead and put that slotted screwdriver right on that little groove, push up that clip or that spring and then it releases its tension from the ball joint like you see here and then you can go ahead and remove it but you can see where that slotted screwdriver is and as long as you have that slotted screwdriver underneath that spring it removes the tension and now we have both our struts out these are the original struts and we're going to replace them with new struts and i do have a link to the struts uh, every vehicle is different these happen to be for the lexus but check out the description for links on the struts that I'm using and additional links for other vehicles as well. Here you can get a better look how I have the hood secured using this 2x4 and you want to make sure that the 2x4 doesn't slip and it doesn't hit you on the head. Now we're getting ready to install the new struts and to install the new struts is actually going to be easier than removing them because all you have to do is go ahead and snap them into that ball joint. But before we install the new struts we're actually going to spray the ball joints with a little bit of non-stick dry film lubricant and that's going to help the joints move up and down as you open and close the hood and then to install it you just basically snap it into the ball joint and you'll hear it snap in we'll do the same thing to the top just push it right into the ball joint so here we're going to get a better look on the other side you want to line up the strut the opening there with the ball joint and then you're going to push it right into the ball joint and you'll hear it snap in and there you heard it snap in and now we're going to go ahead and do the top. So we did the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and do the top. And it's basically the same thing. You heard that snap and that means that's in there. There's tension on that spring so it's not going to go anywhere. It's really grabbing onto that ball joint. And you can see now when I open up this hood, it's going to go ahead and smoothly go up. And then when we close it, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to be nice, safe, secure. You don't have to use a 2x4 and you don't have to get hit in the head with your own hood. So these are the steps to go ahead and remove and replace these hood struts. The instructions are the same for any car. Here I'm doing it on ES350, but any car like a Toyota, GMC, it's the same thing. So you just have to make sure that you buy the right struts, remove them like I showed you, and then go ahead and install the new ones and they just snap in. So I would do the bottom first, then the top, make sure the hood is secure, and you're on your way to saving money and making things safer for you. Thanks for watching, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next video.